Well, we've touched on parent to child, we've touched on sibling to sibling, so let's encompass it all now. There are a lot of notable families in sports, and a lot of them kind of end up dominating over generations. Uh, so we're trying to think which family has done it the best, I guess. Oh, that's tough because there's, there's been so many. I mean, in hockey, you've got the Richards. You've got uh, Henri Richard and uh, Maurice Richard. Mm -hmm. Now you've the got the Tachucks with, you know. You mentioned the Hulls. Yeah, you mentioned the Hulls. No. You've got the Espositos with Tony and Bobby. Just, there's there's been so many. And, and Phil. Yeah. Oh, Phil. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it. Phil, I meant, not Bobby. <laughs> I, I was still thinking about Hull. Um, there's, there's been so many families, at least in the hockey realm, uh, I would probably go with the Hulls. Yeah. So they've done it best. I, I think to category, categorize them all together would be difficult. Right. Um, but if you separate them in, this, in the sports, I think. We mentioned Jim and John Harbour for coaching. Yeah. And, uh, but we mentioned before, I don't think we said on the show, oh, yeah. the Ryans. Yeah. You have Buddy Ryan, who was one of the most innovative defensive coordinators what of all time. Was four Super Bowls? Well, no, he, he did, invented the four six. Right. the 46 yeah. defense, yeah. the 85 Bears, the oh, greatest yeah. Yeah. defense of all time. One of, if not the greatest, he was the defensive coordinator. Then he has his sons, Rex and Rob. But say what you will about Rex, maybe as a head coach, he had some flaws, he had some success, but he was a, so I think, really a good great, defend great defensive, defensive mind, coordinator. Yeah. And just, he was a lot of those Ravens team in a different time of football, too. And a time of football, when it really starts to slant to the offense, his defense still always bored it with exotic packages and everything. And I think it's still to this day, if he went to defensive coordinator, he would be a good defensive coordinator. Oh, yeah. But he's doing his thing with announcing. He's doing it well. He's doing all right. You know so, how much I love Rex Ryan. Yeah. So there you go. But that, that, was, that's a nice little family, you know, father and son, which started in like the 70s and 80s with right. Buddy and really went to about a couple of years ago until Rex, you know, uh, finished up with the Bills. Yeah. Well, the, the Mannings, too. We talked mm -hmm. about Archie and having that. There's just so Payton, many. Hayden, Eli. And did you, I don't know if you saw, the e Cooper, who, mm -hmm. Cooper Manning, who was the oldest, who was a great receiver, and he had a neck injury so he couldn't play, he had a son who they just, they were showing. He looked, he's, he's only like seventh, eighth grade, and he looked great. He was, they were throwing, yeah. they were there, they were throwing, they were showing like Play a, quarterback? I saw it on Twitter, they were showing a That's workout awesome. video, and he was, he was throwing seeds all over the field, throwing rockets, so for a seventh, eighth grade. So watch out, the Mannings could con keep going. The seed is continue. strong. Keep going. The Eli, seed is strong. Yeah, Eli, could, Eli could have his nephew out there. Oh my God, the, yeah. It just being able to, and you got to wonder from, like, I, I've got, I've got two girls, so at, from a parent's perspective, being able to take the thing that you know is your talent, like a guy like Archie, you know this was your talent, and to see it manifest even better mm -hmm. in your children has to be so cool. Yeah. Has to be so cool. You know, we talk, try and talk about multiple families. If you, I consider like Willie Mays is Barry Bonds' godfather. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So I you got that. Bobby Bonds. I know it's not blood, but you got Willie Mays' as godfather, and then you got Barry. So the amount of home runs you have between the three of those is just the, astronomical. The DiMaggio brothers. Yeah, you're right. The, 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 the three of them. Dom, Dom was like a, a I don't know, Joe, Joe had a brother. Yeah, yeah. Dom wasn't a bad player, yeah. which wasn't as good as Joe. Yeah, well, yeah. I, very few people were. That's a good point. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, but he gets overlooked. You know, a lot of people, you, you, like your response yeah. was, he had a brother? <laughs> exactly. Like, how do, you, how do you think that makes him feel? <laughs> <laughs> I think he had like a 30 game hitting streak in his yeah, own 34. right. 34. 34. There you go. Yeah. Just again, just a solid, <laughs> it's a solid one, streak right there. A solid streak, but too bad his brother did for 56. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Could have been anyone else. Which still, talking about still bragging knows, rights no, at the dinner table. Yeah. No, I was breaking that. <laughs> yeah. He's but, still like 20 some odd away. Right. Like, eh, you have Sandy Almar Jr. Right. and Roberto Almar. Right. Great players in their own rights as well. Yeah. yeah Roberto was a Roberto, great, yeah. player. Roberto was probably the best. Until he came to the Mets. Really, once he came to the Mets, just. The Met curse or whatever. <laughs> that was such a line. weird team. We had like Mo Vaughn. Yeah, just, everyone was who strange. was good and then just wasn't good anymore just came to the Mets. It was like the Knicks. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that is a great point. Yeah. But the Knicks. Next year, we're playing for Zion, baby. That's how I'm going to finish Zion. We're playing for Zion. I love it. <laughs> we're playing good, exciting basketball, and we're getting Zion Williamson. But personally, I think, well, we're going to wrap it up with the family. I think there's a lot of, you know, it's... It's, it's funny. I guess it, how you said that when you see that moment where you're passing on that great talent to your children, and it really comes out in sports because it's just something that that 
children love to play and when they have the free time. And then when you have someone that's so good at it previously, being able to teach them, it does probably give them a leg up to get yeah. to that uh, Not superior. necessarily, uh, some people might say nepotism, they have better opportunities. I wouldn't agree with those people. Yeah, maybe, Just, maybe not. But having that talent, having more opportunities in terms it of... It doesn't hurt. It doesn't, yeah. It definitely doesn't, doesn't hurt. Yeah, and I think having someone who's so good to teach you also Makes is beneficial. It, yeah. Absolutely. Go Brett's side.